Hey everybody, welcome back to a, another Where Games Banished uh, video. So today, we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this uh, this map and walk you through until we get to the point where it's a bustling little metropolis. A little deviation from what we normally do, but hey, why not? That's what it's all about. Variety is the spice of life. Uh, cumin is also a very good spice. But, uh, yeah, sorry, terrible joke. Uh, okay, so we are going to kind of play this as though you've maybe played a little bit, but you're trying to learn some more about the game. Uh, if you're an expert, you probably don't need to watch because you're just off playing by yourself anyway. So um, what we have is we've got our, our people here. We've got our 20 people to start with. Uh, we've got our storage yard, and... We've got a map that's got a pretty decent amount of big flat area. So this is a map that we're going to be able to turn into a big, big, big population with. And the river's pretty close by. There's one hill on this side here. There's not a lot else in the way of hills uh, too close to us, which is good. And then look at all this area that we can expand into later. This is a great map. I really like this one. So uh, as you know, of course, with Banished, your first thing you have to have to have to do is get some things going right away. If you don't get some things going right away, your people are going to start dying off in a hurry. It's a pretty common problem for people when they first start playing. So the first thing that you're going to need is some shelter and some food gathering. So those are the two things that we need to get on before winter hits. Um, food gathering is pretty darn important. Uh, we've talked in a couple other videos about uh, the best way to go as far as food gathering. Right off the hop, I don't think there's any argument, the gatherer's hut is the way to go right at the beginning because it begins to bring in food right away and it brings in food constantly throughout the year. Uh, the big thing with the gatherer's hut is you're going to need it where you're going to have some some forest, some pretty serious forest built up around it. That's when they do the best. So we're going to build this one. We don't want it too far away from our storage hut to start. So just for now, we're going to put one over here. And then we're kind of planning on building in this area to start over here, I think. So we don't want our other one to be too close to that one, but I think this is probably a decent place to put one. And we're going to want to put some foresters in with them fairly soon. Uh, I'm going to make some of my guys builders, and I'm going to make some of them stay as laborers, because if we make everyone a laborer, then there's no one to build things. And it's just for my own purposes, I'm going to put a dirt road right down the middle here so I know where stuff is. I find it helps me figure out where I want stuff to go later. Uh, I don't think it's super necessary, but uh, that's what it is. Now, I'm a big, as some of you know, I'm a big advocate of the stone house. I can't be bothered with those wood houses. The downside, of course, uses way more stone. This map, stone's not going to be a problem for a while. we got lots of stone hanging around here. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to set the people up to remove some of these resources to gather some of that stone right away. And we've already given them quite a bit to do. We're going to have other stuff for them to do, but we don't want to overload the queue right away. So let's get going. And I'm going to crank this guy up a little bit just for the purposes of showing you stuff. Now, the one problem we're going to have right away is we've got a lot of people bringing in stuff and our stockpile is going to get full pretty fast. But you never know, maybe we'll have a couple things built before we finish that. Look at those guys, they went over, worked on that one, and they're going to come over and work on this one. Uh, one thing that some people don't know, uh, that is a good tip if you're uh, a newer player, I'll just pause the game for a sec, is uh, when you're looking at a, a building here, uh, there's a little pause button in the bottom corner, and that pauses the collection of materials and the construction of the building. So if you find there's too many things going on at the same time and your workers aren't going efficiently, you can always pause things. So we could pause one of those if we wanted to. The other way that you can focus on something, of course, here in the Tools and Reports menu is to increase the priority and say, do that one first. I like to do it six or seven or 12 times because in my head it, it feels better and it, it makes them go faster. I have no proof that it makes them go faster, but... I like to think it does, and that's just as important, really. Uh, so, things are clipping along here in the spring. These sites are pretty close to where the everybody started out, so they're going to get going pretty quick. Uh, we're running out of stone because we've said, hey, put everything in at the same time, which could be problematic for us. But we'll just tell our workers, hey, grab some of this other stone here, too, while you're at it. So, our first 
building is going in. Um, and as you can see right now, they're, we've massively loaded a bunch of stone. We said, get all this stone going. Sorry, we're going a little too fast here off the top. So one problem with setting up five stone houses right away, of course, is that we now need uh, 40 times five, so 200 stone for there. And then we also needed a little bit for the gathering site. You can see the gatherer's huts are now both built. So what we could do is we could easily start staffing some of them. And I think that's a pretty good idea right off the bat because we're going to need some food coming in. As soon as we start building these houses, the food and the firewood are going to start going. So once those houses are up, the next thing we're going to need is some firewood. Um, with the with the resource production, uh, they're, they're almost laid out in the order that you need them. Not quite. No, sorry, maybe I shouldn't say that. You're going to need the woodcutter fast because he needs to have some firewood ready so that nobody freezes over the winter. Technically, if we're building stone houses, the likelihood of someone freezing is pretty small because they can go visit the stone house. I still like to have some firewood ready for them. Uh, the forester's lodge we're going to need to uh, help the gatherers produce more stuff. It's not urgent to do that right away. The, uh, the herbalist we're going to need fairly soon, but it's not urgent again. It's going to help out with uh, the lack of different types of food that we're bringing in. Once we have more types of food coming in, they become less important. But again, not something you absolutely have to have right this second. The next thing we're going to need after the woodcutter is going to be the blacksmith because we're going to need some way to replace the tools. We have 27 tools right now. Uh, once those start getting used up, we're going to need more. So that's our immediately, sorry, our immediate things that we're going to need are firewood and then tools. Those are going to be the next big two. Uh, and again, I could put in another dirt road. I mean, odds are they're not even going to actually use that road, but it helps me track where things are, and maybe they will use it. Who knows? You can also do a diagonal. This is something a lot of people don't know, but if you wanted to build a road diagonally, all you have to do is hold the shift down while you're dragging the road, and it will actually make a diagonal markup to where you're heading. Okay, so our new priorities. We've got some food being produced. The thing we need now is we need our stone. So we need these guys to go and get this stone, and we can make them do that. Oh, look at this. We have, we have a tornado. Well, this is fun. Immediately. We have a tornado coming into town just as people are getting built. Uh, I'm looking for the tornado. It's way over here. See it? There it is. Now, it looks like we'll be all right because we don't have a lot built up yet. It depends on the direction it goes. The game slows down to one time speed, but we can speed it back up again. Oh, no. It's coming kind of towards us. Oh, I think we got lucky. Look at that. Just It just grazed the back of the gatherer shit. Whew. Oh, oh, we did. We lost one person. A child called Teen, who will never now get to become a teen. That's a bit sad and also mildly funny. Um, but there you go. Nature hits us fast. All right, so we are going to tell the people, get in here and get this... Get this going. Grab this stone. Again, I could have set these all just to wood, and we would have used a lot less stone, and they would have probably been built a little faster. But it is what it is. We do have enough stone to get at least our second house built, and such and so forth. Uh, we have a little bit of stuff coming in from our gatherers already, which is kind of nice. So once we have our immediate... Uh, issues dealt with once we've got our food coming in and we've got shelter for everybody we've got a little bit of logs coming in we've got our ability to make tools uh, that's going to sort of take care of our immediate problems the next problem we're going to have after that is our population we're going to need to start adding to our population which means adding more houses so that we can get some more workers going so that's kind of in the back of our mind right now uh, we need some stone still so yeah, I mean, if we had gone with the wood houses, it would have been, this part would have been a little bit faster, and you can always upgrade them later, so that's a strategy that some people like to use. I tend to just tough it out, do it this way. Maybe if you're playing on hard mode, that might not be an option for you. You're going to need to get it going, and you need to get it going fast. Uh, as it is, we're just kind of hoping that all three of these houses are going to, like, if only two people go into each house, where we may have to build some wood houses just to get everybody in here. We've got 12 people left. We've got two houses. So that's not the optimal. There, we're down to seven. See, look at that. We built all those houses and we still have seven left. So 
sadly we're gonna have to suck it up and just build a couple wood houses because I'm just not sure we have enough time before before winter hits to have all those houses built so as you can see they only use eight stone each and 16 logs now of course we have a hundred stone so we could have actually built those three but it is what it is we just want to get those houses in and get them in fast uh, you can see over here on our production side we've got a little bit of food coming in we don't have a ton of food uh, there's still some left from the original once these three houses get added the people are gonna grab whatever food they can carry uh, they're not gonna have any firewood in those houses yet so it's now late autumn winter's coming people okay sorry we kinda made a mess of this but you know what are you gonna do you could uh, you can go watch a video of somebody who did it exactly right the first time. Well, okay, I, that's probably not a bad plan. But, you know, stick with us. Give us a chance, man. Here we go. So our wood house is just about done. we got two more people in that. They're a little bit chilly because there's no firewood yet. There we go. Everybody now has a home. So we need to get going on our woodcutter. We're going to want to put him close to the wood pile or the stockpile here now you can see there's no there's no firewood in those houses but because there's stone houses across the street those guys should be okay we shouldn't have any problems with anybody freezing to death right away so we're gonna try to get this thing built get our wood cutter up and running it's nice and close to everything and you can see our, our storage is actually running out of room at the moment because they're being so efficient, our little workers. So, the winter is almost over. We do not have a ton of food stored up over the winter. We've got our woodcutter. Boom, here we go. Woodcutter's up and running. We still have 21 tools, so it's not imperative that we immediately go ahead and... Uh, and add on um, the blacksmith right away. Uh, famous last words, in about 10 minutes I'll be like, man, we should have built that blacksmith sooner. So I'm going to add in a forester over there. That'll be the next thing we're going to add. And we are at capacity there. We could just add another stockpile next to it if we need to. Seeing as it's flat, there's nothing there, so it took no time at all. Oh, we had a build. One of our builders died giving birth. It's a, it's a different time. Dangerous in this world. So, got a couple deaths already. So we're gonna get this uh, this forester built, which will increase the amount of food we have coming in from our gatherers. The other thing we could do, of course, is crank up the amount of gatherers that we have. Um, I'm pretty inclined to add. A crop field or two here we should have probably done that a little quicker than we did so let's just throw in a couple of those and we may have missed the planting time on these I think we're gonna be okay because there's not much stuff to take off in here so let's get them going we got potato we got pumpkin and then let's get a couple of farmers going I'm just gonna put one on each for now to get it planted. And our Forester's Lodge is just waiting for the builders to finish it up. That should help out things there. The game's telling me that the reserve of food is low. We've got 300 units, that's not too bad. Uh, we do have our second gatherer's hut over here, so we've got two gatherers. They should be bringing in a decent amount of food pretty quickly for us. And our forester is up and running now, so we can put a couple guys in there. Uh, the other thing we could easily do is put in a hunting cabin over here, and that'll bring in slightly more food, and it will also get our leather production up and running, which is something that we're going to want. Because at some point, we'll want to build some jackets. Jackets are great, but I yeah, they're pretty far down the priority list as far as I'm concerned. Sorry about that. Okay. So hunting cabins being built. Looks like our fields are being planted. So we're going to have at least a little bit of food coming in. 
Uh, I'm pretty crazy about making sure there's enough food. I find that's one of the fastest ways uh, in Banish to to kill your town is to not have enough food coming in. It's probably the, the quickest way. The second quickest way is not keeping up with your population and adding new workers all the time. So uh, we have a decision to make pretty early on. We can add our school in. Looks like we've got quite a bit of resources, so it might be a smart move to add our school now. The big reason that you want to make that decision is that the schoolhouse is going to stop our workers, our kids, from becoming workers for a couple years. So there's going to be, from the time you put it in, there's going to be a gap of a couple years before you start getting new workers. And we'll bite the bullet and we'll do it early here. And our Forester's Lodge is done, and our hunting cabin is also almost done as well. So we're probably a little bit aggressive as far as our building goes at the moment. But I also don't want you guys to fall asleep while we're building things here. So I think the plan here is we're going to go for a little while. We're going to get this thing up and running and humming. And then if it takes more than one video, I'll add a second video on uh, and so forth. Okay, our Hunter's Lodge is up. So we got two people in the Hunter's Lodge. we got six gatherers. We've got some farmers. Look at that. Everything's getting left in the field here. So next year we'll be ready to hit that a little faster. But you can see here the pumpkin lasts a little bit longer. We should really get those guys in that field getting that stuff out before it all goes away. There, you got some of it, so that's great. So you can see now we have 1,200 units stored up. So that's a little better than we were doing before, and that's good. And this gatherer's hut should start doing a little bit better because we're going to have some trees being planted in. Uh, so the Forester's Lodge, I like to disable the cutting. So now it's only going to plant. I find that works better. Uh, and then I can just go over and whenever I want it, I can just start pulling as many logs as I want. I'm going to crank this log limit up. I don't really see the point in keeping that artificially low because why would I ever not want more logs? Uh, I guess only if you're having them cut constantly. So we've got our school up and running. And we have one student already. Yay. That's going to be the smartest person in town. Smartest kid in town, that guy, right now. Possibly girl. Mackenzel, the oddly named. And I think I'm also going to throw in another house while we're at it here. Yes, another stone house. I'm going to put two stone houses in. That's how crazy I am. People will be like, you know that one guy who makes those banished videos? He's a little crazy. And I'll just smile and nod and say, yeah, I, I get it. I could see why you're saying that. Um, but my idea here is to try to get some more population in just to keep building it up while we've got the resourcing. I'm hoping to not actually have to build a quarry or a mine in this particular map because there's so much stuff lying around I can't see the need for it just yet and by the time we get to the point where we do need it we'll had to have we can like look at all this look at all this There's crazy amounts of stone here uh, we've almost mined out this little quarter but that's okay so we can get our guys picking all that stuff up because this is kind of the area we're going to be building in pretty quickly now, once we've got that up and going, we're going to start adding other little things like herbalist. And uh, don't, don't say anything yet because we're going to put that blacksmith in. Ah, I didn't forget. Oh, man, this hill right here is annoying. Eh? It would be nice to have put him in right there, but we shall put in our blacksmith there. Also going to make this road go all the way around. Um, so you can see we're down to eight tools, so we do kind of want to get that blacksmith up and running. It's pretty common for me. I forget about that until it's almost too late. But he's also right next to the stockyard, so that's good. That'll get things in there in a hurry. Our problem now, of course, is that we're running out of laborers because we've got people working in the fields, we've got people gathering, we've got people hunting. Uh, we brought some venison in. You can see here we've got some leather coming in now. We could make jackets at this point if we wanted to. Uh, one strategy that a lot of people will use is you set your your woodcutter's only going to cut 200 firewood. So he's at 200 now. So we could take him off the job and put him to work as, say, the blacksmith, which is probably what we'll end up doing. 
you have to be a little careful in the early phases. You got to keep an eye on things because you can forget one or the other, and pretty soon you're stuck. So get that blacksmith in there. Get these guys. Now, if you're having problems with your fields, like last year we had, we didn't get all our pumpkins out in time. If you're having problems with that, you, what you can do is you can keep an eye on the temperature right here. Right now it's 27 degrees. Sorry, I'm in Celsius, by the way. Some of you may be in Fahrenheit, but you should know that your 32 is zero. Celsius is 32 Fahrenheit, or freezing mark. So just before it hits that freezing mark, or when it looks like it's starting to get close to that, you can actually just tell them harvest. Hit that button, and they will harvest the field uh, if they're not doing it quickly enough and you're losing food in the field. I don't think it's going to be a problem for us here. We've got some food coming in. You can see our onions and our roots are doing good, so our gatherers are doing a great job of bringing stuff in. And uh, we've even got some venison, so our hunters are doing a good job of it too. So the only building left to build right now is this herbalist that we've set up. I have this feel feeling this game's going to want to whammy me soon, so the next thing that I want to throw in, just to give me a little protection, is a well. So I'm going to put that one in. It's a lot of stone, but um, if there's no well, they'll have to run to the river, and it's getting a little bit far away from the river. So Other people are also probably saying, don't put your buildings so close together because they'll all get burned, and they might, but you know, what are you going to do? Not put them so close together, you might say. But we are living on the edge. We are crazy. That's why they banished us in the first place, because we didn't follow. We didn't listen to common sense. So now we're banished. Uh, we're getting a little bit low on logs here. But we do have our forester up and running, so we have very few qualms about coming in and harvesting a bunch of these trees. Not going to be a problem. They're going to grow back for us. This is one of the reasons a lot of people like to use the firewood uh, as their economy, is because you can, of course... It's renewable, right? You can grow as many trees back as you want. I like to use them a little bit in the early phases, and then I like to get the breweries going, and I also like to get uh, the wool economy with the tailors going. So we're probably going to do a little bit of all that. But right now, our people, see we're down to four stars for our average health, so we're going to want to get that herbalist up and running. And we have exactly one worker left. Now, this is a little bit uncomfortable. We don't want to actually be in this situation because if our teacher dies, then all of the students immediately become laborers. And that might not be the worst thing right now because we are pretty short. But So we might just risk that for the time being. Uh, of course, now that it's winter, once the rest of this field has been picked, we can take our two farmers out of the fields and we can put them to work doing something else. So... Uh, we don't want that left in the field because if it gets left in the field, that won't get planted next year, is my understanding. If that's wrong, please say so in the comments. But we want someone to come and take that basket. There we go. So right now I could take those two farmers out of that field and I could put them to work doing something else. So right now they're just being laborers. And if anyone doesn't have a job to do, they will also just become a laborer if they're not actively doing something at their own job. So those farmers may well have done that anyways. We're just making sure of it at this point. Hey, look, they had, we had one herb for a second there. So our people are doing their jobs. And you see we're entirely out of firewood right now. Or uh, out of, sorry, out of wood. And soon firewood as well. So and spam this a little bit and say, hey, guys, hurry up. Take those trees. And they will. They will. Uh, so really what we're waiting on now, like we said before, we've got six students. We're really just waiting on a couple of those students to get older so that they can start adding to our workers. Our fear, the thing we don't want to happen, is if we hadn't kept adding new houses and people having more kids, then we're going to start dying out. Our, our people are going to get old and they're going to die off. And there's not going to be enough children to fill the jobs in. So that's pretty common. That'll happen at some point. We'll run out or we'll, we'll have a little drop off in population. But the hope is by the time that hits that we have enough of our economy built up that it's not going to be a kind of end of the world sort of thing. Um, don't have a ton of firewood, but I'm going to build one more house anyway. Uh, now it's summer. We need to get a couple of people back in the fields. So I'm going to put those two back in. 
Uh, we're pretty close to the line right now. I could take the, one of the foresters or both of the foresters out if we needed to, because that's that'll start repopulating itself pretty quickly. Now that they've got some trees planted. But really, you just kind of have to decide what's important. What do we need, right? Our popular, or our sorry, our food is at 2,500 right now. We're probably okay. We could take everybody off off food gathering and just have them build stuff or work on resources, that kind of thing, and we'd probably be okay. But I'd rather not risk it. Uh, you can see we're out of firewood right now, and as I mentioned before, see we have our no one working there. Our blacksmith is up to 45 tools, so we'll take the guy out of the blacksmith, put him in the woodcutter, and that, of course, is going to drop the amount of trees we have as well. So let's get some of those trees cut down, dudes. It's hard. There's only one extra laborer right now, and we just had a new adult. So our first student has graduated. Mackenzel is now a laborer. Hooray. Congratulations. There's a big ceremony just the one graduate, pretty small graduating class, the class of summer 04 here in the town of Boarding. So named because we originally used it to do a boarding house tutorial. But boarding it is and boarding it shall be. So yeah, this kind of phase now we're, we're, we're pretty confident that we're not going to die out in a big hurry. Uh, so now it's just kind of moving forward and getting things built up, getting our population built up, making sure we don't run out of trees, making sure we don't run out of stone, and constantly just adding a few more people, a few more resources, building up what we have. You can see our storage barn is at 84% full, so we're going to need another one soon. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst idea to put one in over here close to that gatherer so it doesn't have to come in so far. But we're kind of moving this way, so I'm a, probably a little more inclined to put another one over this way. So we will put one in right here. Uh, we need trees. We are not cutting trees down quickly. Again, we have one laborer. That's definitely going to slow you down. So let's get going on this, dudes. And of course it didn't hurt. It didn't help that we took 24 of them to build this stone house over here. But on we move and forward we move. Uh, I guess if we wanted to we could easily put in a couple more fields if we were really adamant about getting a lot more food production in a hurry. We could do that. Of course we are at capacity for that field or for that storage barn now. And that's okay. That means that it's bursting with food. It's a good problem to have. But we do need somewhere to store it, so we need to get this thing built. Of course, at the moment, there's not enough log to build it. There's only nine logs. Need some more graduates. Uh, so we're going to... What are we going to do here? Let's pull a couple gatherers just for a couple minutes. Just until this thing gets built and some trees get knocked down. Problem being, of course, now that it's done being knocked, uh, flattened out that area, there is not enough log. And we've actually marked... Uh, some of this, some of these little guys, we don't really want them removing these little trees because we're not going to get much out of them. So, going to put those on on these ones on removal instead. Sorry, talking and thinking at the same time. It's harder than you think, or than you talk. So we've got almost all of our logs. Just waiting as they come in, they get dropped off again. Our stone's going to be good. Uh, our firewood situation is a little bit low. Our tools are looking okay. We haven't had any coats yet. Nobody's got any coats, but we're not sending people very far away, so they don't really have too much time to start freezing to death. I wouldn't want to be sending them way over across the river or something until we've either got coats or buildings closer to there. So we've got not quite all our logs yet. There we go, closer. Some people tell you 
that before you start building something, you should make sure you have enough of the material in the storage yard before you start. Those people are not me. I tend to get behind this way because I'm into building. I want more stuff, more buildings. And so be it. All right, so any wood that comes in now is just going to start getting gathered up again. And you can see that we're still working that area over there. So there is more wood that's going to be coming in. And our little storage barn is quickly being built. So you can see our numbers here. We've got 17 adults, we've got 8 students, and we've got 11 children. And that's good. That's a good replacement. We can see we've got more uh, children than students, and then we've got enough students coming in that hopefully when those adults start dying out, that will start replacing them. Nobody's that old yet. Got a lot of people in their 30s. So that's all right. And then we've got this last house. Now the builders are done building the other thing. They're going to come back over here, finish building this house for us. Uh, one thing you have to be a little bit careful, we don't have to be careful of it yet, but in, at some point here, we're going to have the point where we've got 15 or 16 students and we've got 12 kids or 14 kids. Then we've got to be careful that we're getting close to that 20 mark. When you hit that 20 mark, of course, any students or any children after that become adults immediately and you don't get the education bonus for them. So... When it starts getting close to 20 in your number of students, you're going to want to throw in a second school. We're a little ways off from that yet, but... Oh, there you see, look at that. We got burned late spring, and nobody picked up the food, so nobody started planting yet. As soon as they're done, hopefully it's not too late, and they will start planting. And if not, then it will have learned a valuable lesson. There, I think we're all right. So we've got 1,400 units of food. Uh, one thing that I would like to do sooner than later is get our town hall in because our town hall is going to uh, give us numbers, give us graphs and charts. And I'm a big chart and graph kind of guy. I like to know what's going in and when it's going in and what's going to happen. Uh, we don't have a hospital yet. It'd be a good idea to put one in. Probably what's going to happen is we're going to get some kind of disease and then I'm going to build one in a hurry and go, oh, I hope everybody doesn't die. But the town hall takes 64 logs, 124 stone, and 48 iron. That's a lot. We don't have most of that right now. We're close. We, there's a lot of stone is what it boils down to. Uh, I'm going to get the guys to gather up all the stone and iron in this area now that our trees are okay again. So we'll start gathering on that. You can see over here we got a lot of iron coming in. Iron's not going to be that crucial to us right now because all we're using it for is to make tools and we're using those pretty slowly right now. More importantly is increasing that number, that amount of iron, uh, sorry, the amount of stone we have coming in. Never seem to have enough stone. Maybe because I build all of my houses out of it. That seems a little obvious, doesn't it? Uh, here's something to keep in mind. Uh, before you use all of your stone, thinking that you're just going to go across the river and grab a bunch more, make sure you have enough to build a bridge across the river. It's going to speed things up for you pretty drastically. So yeah, yeah, things are looking pretty good here in boarding. Year 5, uh, we have, oh, we got a pretty decent amount of population there. Look at that, we got 10 laborers now. Oh, some of those are gatherers, of course. And so yeah, we're looking good. We got two hunters. I don't know as we need three hunters. We probably have enough now that we can keep a permanent blacksmith. As soon as he hits 50 tools, he's going to stop anyway. The big worry with the blacksmith is he just keeps using all of your stuff. And we don't really want that. So we're pretty much at the point where we can start working on getting our economy going. So there's a couple things we could do. We could uh, worry, work on this sort of this tree idea. So let's do that to start with because that's the easiest to start with. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw in another forester over here with these guys. And you can see here that he's going to cover that area up there. So really we could throw in another one here. This guy's probably going to get knocked out sooner than later because he's going to be right in the middle of where we're going to end up building. But but for the time being, we could certainly do that. We could use those two to get things cooking. And then what we're going to do once we have a lot of wood, the capability to bring in a lot of wood, is we're going to put in some wood choppers. Official, official term is wood choppers. 
and then we're going to put in our trading post and we'll be able to start selling firewood and getting other things in return for that which will allow us to not have to do a lot of other building that we didn't want to do things like putting in a quarry or a mine so yeah yeah our numbers are actually pretty good population wise we could also put in a fishing fishing dock down here somewhere to bring in even more food I think food wise we're we're looking okay right now we, we dropped a little bit because we took the gatherers away but we got the gatherers back now uh, we've got a few more workers so we could easily put in a couple more fields uh, trading post so we have more than enough material for our trading post and it's going to become a pretty important part of our economy here so I don't want to get that trading post in pretty fast I'm going to put it right there and how does that fit in with stuff pretty good it's a little bit far away from where everything is built now but it won't be for long because people will start building over that way we're going to start that there's lots of deer where we're going to build our trading post plenty of deer uh, we have enough now we should probably put a tailor in uh, at some point that's going to become part of our economy Nobody seems to be hurting for lack of coats. It will make people happier when they have coats. Everybody likes to be warm. Uh, not too warm, but warm enough. So. so yeah, things are looking all right. Uh, another thing we could look at doing is putting in the cemetery. That'll usually get you a little happiness going pretty fast. That's uh, a lot of stone. I'm not sure I want to do it right at this moment. Might want to wait a little bit on that. And we are up and going on our Forester's Lodge. Remember, we're going to take the cut away so that we only chop it when we want it. And there's one more over here that we've asked them to build. Uh, of course, all of this building is using a lot of our logs. So we're going to send the boys back into... And the ladies. We're not sexist here in the town of boarding near the water but not waterboarding that's an important distinction to make early on uh, we could put a house or two over here closer we could we might not and our population numbers are looking pretty good we've got a decent number of people coming in uh, our jobs are getting filled up um, of course we could use way more foresters but but we don't want to go crazy too early here and the big problem we have of course at the moment is that we've given the builders a thousand jobs to do and they're confused as to which ones they should do and so all of them get done more slowly so we can get this tailor up and running so that our laborers stop worrying about it you can see the trees are starting to come down over here one thing we could do to help that is we could put another storage stockpile over here so they don't have to go nearly as far to drop stuff off that would be a pretty good one for us to do and it doesn't take long for those three things to get removed and then we'll have a stockpile close by all right we're almost at the 40 minute mark and hopefully if you're hanging in there you're enjoying and uh, building with us and that we're enriching your life in some way look at this the main street of boarding the tailor we can put a tailor on the job there's a tailor and the tailor right now is of course only going to make hide coats because we've only got the leather and so he's off to get some of the leather oh sorry I added a brewer by accident wishful thinking um, all right, so forestry is good there. So the last building on this side that we're going to finish up is this last forester's lodge. Uh, they're all a little bit underpopulated at the moment. And then, of course, we want to get our trading post up and running. But we want all of those things to happen, so we have to be patient. Of course, there's nobody living near here, so it's a long walk for these guys to get over here and get going on that and still we don't have a ton of trees a 
Come on, dudes. So right now the problem is is that we're increasing the priority here, then we're going over to the other side, seeing that no nothing's getting done there, and we're increasing it there. So really, we should just be patient and let everybody finish doing what they're doing. That is what we should do. I guess this is technically a Let's Play video. I haven't really made one of those before. Um, all of the videos have been sort of tutorial or showing you how to do something. I guess this is the one where first one we're actually just playing, though I am trying to teach you things at the same time. Because that's just the kind of person I am. I'm good that way. Okay, so our other Forester's Lodge is done. Sorry, we're going to take the cut off that one. And the only thing left to build is our lovely trading post. This is very exciting. The economy's moving and shaking now. So we've got lots of laborers. I don't know why I'm leaving so many laborers in the laborers pool. So we're going to add a few more foresters to make that go more quickly. Again, you can see our numbers. We've got 30 adults, we've got 5 students, and we've got 12 children. So our numbers are still pretty good. Again, we're just going to add a few more houses every once in a while to keep those numbers up. Probably now would be a good time. I'm going to add something in a little bit closer over here to where we're going to start getting our economy going just to keep things moving that way. You can see our stone number is getting a little bit low, but we don't have anything else in the queue right now. We could start looking for some more stone at the moment. We don't really need to. And then the other thing we're going to start putting in is some more woodcutters. I'm not going to put a thousand of them in. Some people put lots and lots and lots. I think three will probably be enough to get us going here. Uh, we are definitely going to need some more stone soon. So one of our roads will come out this way. We're going to build us a bridge at the lowest, easiest cross point. There we go. So that one's going to take 14 stone. So, like I was saying before, you don't want to be totally out of stone before you need it. Because then it's going to take forever. So, that one's going to be 14, 40, and then we've got another 19 that are going to be needed over here. I don't know, maybe that's just my quirky thing, but it strikes me that if it's going to take me, oh, I used all the stone, i got to go somewhere and grab all the rest of it before I can uh, build my bridge. That seems like a bit of a pain, so... Uh, there is some more stone over here we haven't picked up, so that'll be important to grab, too. That's kind of a... Let's do that first. So, what have we learned so far? Dave likes to spam various things to get things built faster, and as a result, nothing gets built faster. But, he's a nice guy, so we're going to let it slide. That's what we've learned today. How are we doing for food? We got 2,600 units, so we seem to have leveled out. Uh, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to throw another field in here pretty quick. Great, something else to build. It's not like there's already enough being built at this moment. We should definitely look at that. All right, we have used up all of the... Uh, all of the leather that we have, but we've got some nice coats now. 36 of them, so our people will be warm. We like that. They will also like that. Uh, it's late spring, so there's no rush on that field. We could increase the priority in it if we choose. Our little bridge is just about done. Yay! Great, so now we can grab some stone from this side too. And we're definitely going to be building into this area. That's probably going to be a forest or area for quite some time until we've finished this area. Probably what's going to happen is we'll start expanding into this section here or more likely into this section here. And at some point, there's going to be no point in having a forester's lodge here because there'll be so much stuff. We've already kind of impinged on his circle. So we're going to, we're going to want to uh, move that at some point. Where we'll just rip that thing out and put in some housing in that, but we always want to make sure we have a few foresters up and running until the point where we've got lots of lots of logs coming in. See, we've got 400 logs now. We're laughing. We are log rich at this point. Log rhythmic. 
you might say if you wanted to make a pretty bad joke. And our trading post is done. Hooray! It's such a pleasing thing when your trading post is working. Um, so inventory wise hopefully you know how to use the trading post if you're watching if you're this far in uh, and if not we're going to explain it for you but we've hit the 45 minute mark so I think we're going to call it for this video and then we'll pick it up uh, right away in uh, video number two of the boarding series as we build boarding up into an economic juggernaut so uh, I'm just going to pause things there thank you for watching and hopefully you'll catch us in part two of this and we'll see you later